Hi, I'm Donathan. And I'm Kelly. And, and we, we are, are Craving, Craving Cinematics. Cinematics. Well, we finally got to see it this past weekend. Uh, Black Panther. Really in was anticipating this movie. Looking uh, forward to it for several months. Several, oh, many months. And even so much that I went and got the Christopher Priest uh, first edition of Black Panther and just to kind of get caught up on the character because I was first introduced or we were first introduced uh, in Civil War, um, Captain America Civil War mm -hmm. to this character. I wasn't all that familiar with him. Growing up, I was a big comic book fan growing up, uh, all the staples, but I wasn't familiar with Black Panther and as since we started the channel and I started getting introduced to him and started doing a little bit of research on him, the more I really like the character of T'Challa. And we had several people that are huge Black Panther yeah. fans, you know, help us out. Exactly. And, you know, explain some things to us and, and that was really helpful. Very, very helpful. Thank you guys. I really appreciate it. So we both were really anticipating this movie and there was a lot of hype around it. Unfortunately for us, when we went to see it opening night, the only seats that I could get were ended up on the front row. Well, the particular Ooh. theater we went to, the seats were so close to the screen, you could not see the entire screen, mm -hmm. and it was nauseating. So we, Not the movie. Not the movie. <laughs> the, just the... Just watching the, the trailers. Of, the, yeah, yeah, you, just yeah, we didn't even make it to the movie. No, we, did, we didn't even get, make it to the opening credits. We got to the point to where it's, we can't do this. So we ended up getting a refund and going the second night, which was uh, Friday night, because we were going to see it Thursday night. We finally got there and was watching it, and my impressions of the movie, it's really, really good as far as a Marvel film goes. Now, I do understand how everybody really wants something to be good. I want this to be really good, and it is good, but it's not a perfect movie by no means. For instance, I prefer Civil War over this one, and the main reason for that is that the story itself stayed very close to the comic store comic book story it made they made a few changes that i felt well is that really necessary to do the cgi in it wasn't top notch like i expected it to be and there were just a few things that you know kind of brought it down now i'm going to go into a little bit of the character of T'Challa. My biggest fear, I've grown a lot of respect for T'Challa in the comic books, the stories, and I, my biggest fear was is they were going to alter his character like they did in Civil War. And of course, it didn't bother me in Civil War because I didn't know that wasn't his character and him seeking revenge. I'm very thankful that they stuck close to T'Challa's character. The acting in it, superb. I've heard comments about uh, Chadwick Boseman about not being dynamic enough and things like that. No, he's perfect for that because he's coming off as regal. He's coming off as a king. Uh, Michael B. Jordan, fantastic as far as the villain goes. He was scary. Now, some of the other acting in it was I thought was a little over the top. Like what? Well, uh, Claw, for instance, um, Andy Serkis. That character I thought could be played better. Um, he was really over the top. I understand from the comics that Claw was more evil, more self-driving, and uh, Andy Serkis portrayed that. But, I mean, he, I just felt he was just way over the top on that. But overall, this movie is really, really good. I really enjoyed it, and I'll be happy to keep it, uh, have it as a part of my MCU collection. I think it fits really well into the MCU, and they have, uh, they have blended the story in well enough to follow on into Infinity War. So what, what did you think? Well, I, 
I, I mean, I enjoyed it. Again, I am not, you know, a huge superhero fan. I, I, I do like them. I, I'll go see them once. A couple of them I've seen a time or two. Mm. Uh, I, and I was looking forward to this simply because of all the hype. I really, I don't know if all the hype on any of these movies mm -hmm. does it justice. I mean, I don't think the hype, you know, for Star Wars did it justice. I don't think the hype for Superman versus uh, Batman, Batman did it justice. And I don't think all the hype for Black Panther did it justice. I agree. Because what I'm finding, and it's not just with superhero movies, but what I'm finding is when I see all this hype and for months and months and months and all the build up and all the trailers and all the teasers and you know all the talk and all the anticipation that I go in really really expecting something to be fantastic and I'm disappointed. Yeah. And I was a little disappointed with this. Okay. Um I liked it. Don't get me wrong. I did enjoy it. Uh I I, I did like it. But I was I, for some reason and I don't know in what area I was expecting more, but I was just expecting them to do more justice to this character than what they did. Now, that being said, I too thought the guy who played uh, T'Challa, how do you say it? T'Challa. T'Challa. Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick Boseman did a very good job. I, I, I too have seen a lot of the criticism that he has taken. I actually think he did this part very well. He could have let go and just been all out. But that's out of T'Challa's character. But that's out of his character. Yeah. He is a king. He is a ruler. Mm -hmm. Yes. Could he go out and kick everybody's butt and, 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 and you know, make his kingdom just, you know, and be strong and, and just out there king and stuff? Yeah, he could have played it that way. But that's not what the character calls for. He is a king. He is regal. He does his job. He fights. He's a warrior. He fights. He does it well. Sometimes he loses, which is one thing I liked to see him get his butt kicked. Okay. For, that's real. Mm -hmm. He came back that, you know, he was able to come back he was, mm -hmm. and, and it come back stronger. But his character continuously remained a regal character yeah he held back and as an actor sometimes that is one of the hardest things to do mm -hmm. is to hold back and i really respect that the other character i loved in this was his sister the princess <laughs> oh dear goodness gracious she's good she is a hoot and a half but she too reigned back yep she too she could have been way out there, mm -hmm. you know, the crazy tech nerdy, you know, kid who who makes all these really cool um, gadgets. gadgets and stuff. And she did that, but she was just like, you know, yeah, that's what I Not do. Not a problem. That's, that's cool. what I do. And the way she handled that part yeah. was good. very good. I also liked the warrior women. Oh yeah. Now they were amazing. Um, the general mm -hmm. was, and, and, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name, but she is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. She is so beautiful. Now she had a part that could let loose. And she did. In certain areas. Yep. And she did. But in the other areas where, where she had to do something that she didn't like to do, and this is a non-spoiler alert, spoiler alert, not say those it's two non spoiler, words. it's a non spoiler. Okay, yeah. anyway, um, she had to do something she didn't want to do, and you could tell it tore her apart. But being a general and being such a warrior, she could not let those emotions fully come out. She did it so subtly, though, it was beautiful. Yeah, one the, 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 the biggest thing that really bothered me. And I, I, I questioned it several times is that we're in Wakanda. We're in Africa. Okay. We know this. We're in this super technological city. I mean, you know, technology beyond what anything in the world has ever seen. Mm -hmm. And yet 
they made the city, the, the set designers and, and, um, construction crew in, 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 in that, that group who designs the sets is what I'm trying to say, chose to make it still look like a third world country. Okay. And I wasn't fond of that. I felt like if you were going to be in Wakanda and it's this super high tech city that it needed to look more high tech. Okay. And, and, and not the way, I, I don't know. I just didn't like the way they made it look. Yeah, it was different. It's, it's something that, um, I wasn't expecting going in either. Um, as far as the technology and everything goes, everything was revolved around vibranium in that. Mm -hmm. And of course, Wakanda is built on that. And that was kind of shocking at first to me as well. Um, I wasn't expecting it. I expected it to be, it be a little bit more high tech. Right. There were a couple of lines in it that did bother me a little bit. Um, primarily right towards the end. Again, I'm not going to. Uh, we're not going to do anything politi political either. But, no, no, no. And it. I understand where they were coming from and everything, but there were just a couple of lines at at the end to where um, one of the children had said something when they first seen the ship, and you'll know when you see the movie what line I'm referring to. I said, did that did that really have to be in there? Um, I, granted, it was one of those lines that were meant for comedy, but I just I just felt that it wasn't just you know it wasn't really necessary. Overall, the movie is really, really good. Is it my favorite superhero movie? No. Is it worth going to the theater to see again? With a group of friends who have not seen it, I would go again on that basis. Me personally going back? No, I'd much rather wait and get it on Blu-ray or something and watch it at home again. It's just one of those kind of movies. Uh, but again, all of these Marvel movies are beginning to look a lot the same. They have they're yeah, using the same, the same formula. Line. It's the same know. formula over and over and over again. And you it gotta is get a little more creative, old. Hollywood. Yeah. I will. Uh, there, one more thing I do want to say. Okay. And it's something I mentioned in Wonder Woman, and Donathan kind of looked at me like, "Where did that come from?" But I noticed it in this one too, and it's something I really like, and it's the color palette. Mm -hmm. The color palette in Wonder Woman was beautiful. Her, the muted blues and the muted reds on, you know, with the muted gold mm -hmm. on her costume, um, was beautiful. Uh, and it mixed with a lot of the colors in the background, the grays and the, you know, the, the, the war, the, the fight scenes, you know, with the yellows and reds of explosions and things like this. Black Panther used the same thing. Mm -hmm. And that is something that I really, really do like. It's very subtle, and I like color. Uh, I'm a big color person, so you know, unless unless you're really sensitive to it, you may not notice it. But the color palette in this movie is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. When he when he becomes when, when he's getting the the serum from the beautiful flower, which again has really it's pretty the color. Herb. Yeah, the heart shaped herb. Um, beautiful color palette there. Uh, he drinks it. And he has to go into this deep sleep type thing. It's a dream sta state thing. He comes into his dream state and the colors there, there, there there's, there's these vibrant purples and, 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 yeah. and blues, uh, these majestic blues and uh, subtle yellows and, and oranges in it that is just stunning. Mm -hmm. Really very stunning. And I, I liked that. I, that. I've seen it in... In Wonder Woman now, the colors, usage of colors, and now in Black Panther. And that's something I would like for Hollywood to continue and to, to build on is... is The is, different colors. Is, the, is just the, the use of color palettes. Yeah, it's nowhere in telling near... telling the story. Yeah, it's nowhere near like what they did with Batman 3 with Val Kilmer, which looked completely comic bookish. Uh, which, no, that's what they were going for. That's what they were going for, but it just didn't fit. Especially, too dark. Too dark. Well, it for me. too much of a contrast, uh, and it's too silly. For instance, you can't compare Tim Burton's original Batman 
with Michael Keaton compared to Batman 3 with Val Kilmer's two different directors and two different completely looks with all in Batman 3 with all these different colors and everything it just didn't fit mm-hmm. um, in Black Panther, it did. I mean, the movie's gorgeous. It absolutely yeah, it, is. It, it, it's it, that that part is very stunning. Um, yeah, and I appreciate. So, I appreciate it. So, as far as my takeaway from this, I am extremely happy that they kept with T'Challa's character. Uh, Eric Killmonger was exactly what I expected. He was, pardon the language, but he was the badass I expected him to be. He was good. He was really, really good. I enjoyed him, um, even the funky hairdo. I, I was just a little disappointed in Andy Serkis's performance when it come to playing Claw. Um, it, it, to me, it was just a little bit over the top. Other than that, movie's really, really good. I enjoyed it. I, I will agree that it was a good movie. I probably wouldn't see it another time for a while. I might later on if we do like a, a superhero, you know, weekend and watch a bunch of superhero movies i might watch it then yes i would add it to my collection okay. um i do like it um i'm glad that that black panther is out there um mm-hmm. i'm glad that he's a superhero for a lot a lot of people yep. that's 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 a very good thing um just hollywood again uh not that you're really listening to me because you know, you're not but <laughs> um just you know the formula is getting old yeah. The formula is getting old. We need we need to find a new formula. We need to to throw some surprises in there. So yep. that that's all I can say about it. All right. Well, I'm Donovan. I'm Kelly, and, and we, we are, are craving, craving cinematics. cinematics.